In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this simple swap part. First, I'm going to start a new blank inch document. Then I'm going to go to the sketch ribbon, to the drop down arrow below sketch, and I'm going to create a 3D sketch. Remember when working in 3D sketches, if you look at the isometric view, first I'll use my mouse gestures and activate line. When I press tab, I switch which plane I'm drawing it. So to start this sketch, I want to draw in the XZ plane. So I'm going to tab until I see XZ. And I'm going to lock it to the origin. I'm going to move out. Now I want to be careful. Remember the yellow now shows me if I click, I'm going along X. And that's what I want. So I'll do that. And next I want to come up. So I'm going to switch using tab to the YZ plane. And again, I want to pay attention to the relationship. This time I want along Y. And I'm going to click. I can still work in the YZ plane. I'm going to go this way and this time I want the long Z. Now I'll tab to switch to the XZ plane. And then I'll move over here and this time I want a long X. And I'm going to continue creating my part this way. Again, watching which relationships pop up. This time I'm going to tab and switch to the YZ plane. Make sure I get the along Y. And then once more I'm going to tab so I switch to the ZX or XZ plane. And I'm going to push escape and I'll fit the geometry to my screen. So I've now created the basic shape. And if I turn on my relationships, we can see I've added the along Y, along X, along Z as required. If not, I would select the entity and then add the appropriate one. So I'm going to use mouse gestures and I'm going to activate smart dimension. And I'm going to work my way around the part, fully defining it with dimensions. Just zoom out a bit and I'm going to continue to grab entities and add the dimensions. I could also make this line and this line equal, but I'm just going to dimension it as the textbook wants us to. And you'll notice how each entity becomes fully defined as I add the dimension. I'm going to push escape to stop dimensioning and just rotate around a bit. So here we can see all entities are dimensioned and fully defined using the along Z and along X relationship. Now that everything's fully defined, I want to add the fillets. So I'm going to activate fillet, set my size to half inch. And again, I'll just work my way around the part, selecting the corners to add the half inch fillet. By ensuring it was fully defined before I started this, it's easier to keep it fully defined once I add the fillets. So I'll right click to accept the fillets. We can see all the relationships it's add. My sketch is still fully defined. I'm going to right click and exit the sketch. And now I want to make a swept part. So I'll go to features. With my 3D sketch selected, I'm going to tell I want to make a swept boss. And I can do that with a single sketch if I use a circular profile. So here I'll tell it the diameter of the profile is a quarter inch. I'll say OK. And I made my first simple 3D sketch swept boss feature. And remember to look at the part isometrically and use tab to switch planes that you're drawing in and to add the along X or along Y and along Z relationship as required.